It's year 15, we're going on, gonna have ourselves a nice adult time! It's definitely a really weird way to start this kind of video, isn't it? Hello, everyone! Wow, um... I can't believe I'm making this video right now. Fifteen years ago was when I decided, you know what? I have this video I filmed of playing Super Mario Galaxy as Luigi, which was brand new at the time, and I don't know if a whole lot of people knew Luigi was in there, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna upload this to a site called YouTube, and yeah, that was that. Fast forward... 15 years later, a decade and a half later, man, like, I'm at a loss for words, and the very first thing I want to say whenever I start this video here is simply, if you've been with the channel for any amount of time at all, whether it would be if you were miraculously from the very early era of the channel, like, I'm talking, like, 2008, 2009, maybe 2010, if you remember me from the old, like, Super Skarmory forums, if you were around during the classic era of my channel when I let's played the Spongebob movie and, um, a couple other random games from 2011, like, Pokemon Platinum and, um, when I started Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, if you were around from there, if you were around from <clears throat> kind of the harder times I went through, around the mid-2010s, kind of some of the comebacks and the ups and downs I kind of went through, and if you've been on this journey for a long time, or even a short time, if you've only been here for the last couple of years, that's awesome too, man. Thank you everyone for being along here for as long as you guys have, and the support really does mean the world to me. This isn't going to be any sort of a super big video, but I do want to kind of like, it, it, it is and it isn't, you know, I'm just, this is just gonna be kind of a general update video on some things, but I want to talk about kind of how 2013, 2013, 2023 is gonna be, god, I, uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I don't know how it's been a f whole last decade since, like, the classic era of my channel has really kind of happened, and sorry if you hear my Discord kind of going off there, I'll respond to that in a bit. Um, so let's talk about what's currently ongoing here, and uh, the main game that's currently ongoing right now is uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and I don't really have a whole lot to update with that. Um, things are going smoothly so far, and I do have a, another session ready and ready to be edited here. Um, I think things are generally going pretty smoothly for that. Yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to say about Twilight Princess. Um, I, the only thing I wanted to kind of touch on is kind of the weirdness with the updates upload schedule, because anyone who's been following me for the last seven or eight years or so knows that usually I like doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday upload schedule. And, like, I don't know, really. I ha I'm probably going to go back to that with Twilight Princess again at some point, but I haven't quite been ready to make that jump yet. I don't have a good reason why to say for certain, but that's kind of just being the way things are right now. So, at some point that is going to make that jump whenever, probably hopefully whenever I get a nice batch of stuff backed up for that for now. Um, I, I should say that the next session... I've, I have another, like, five or six videos recorded that I need to edit, and that goes all the way to the end of the second dungeon, so that's kind of about how much I have recorded there. So, that'll be uploaded in the coming weeks anyway, so, yeah. Next up is a little bit of a surprise one, but um, a certain remaster actually comes out in about a month's time, coincidentally just before my birthday, actually. And it's surprisingly one of my favorite games in this series, and a game that I have had intentions of Let's Playing ever since the original of this came out, and for reasons that I can kind of elaborate on in a little bit, um, 
I haven't really ever done a Let's Play or anything on this game. I've actually done a stream of this that's sadly, I think, lost to the sands of time, but I streamed Kirby's Return to Dreamland way the heck back in, oh god, I think March of 2012, I think. Like, it was more than a decade ago now. But, yeah, there's... Small little tech issues. Um, yeah, in all seriousness, um... <clears throat> Yeah, Return to Dreamland, one of my favorite Kirby games. I've surprisingly never done a Let's Play of it, though. I did want to do a collab Let's Play of it a long, 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 long time ago. And that just didn't really happen, because collab Let's Plays are a pain in the ass to kind of schedule there. Eventually, whenever the Switch version comes out, look forward to a Let's Play of that. Um... I usually like to kind of, I never know with my work schedule this time of year, because sometimes stuff likes to get really, really stupid, busy, and crazy, so I usually like to kind of do some smaller things here and there, and Return to Dreamland is going to be, a, it'll be going alongside Twilight Princess, I'm not going to like stop Zelda for that, but um, it just might mean that you might only get one or maybe two Zelda videos a week by then, and uh, Kirby you might get like one or two then, it's... It, We'll have we'll be playing it by year, but there is going to be a lot more kind of content focused on the YouTube side of things this year, I think. Um, and speaking of smaller let's plays of things I usually like to do in spring, uh, Mega Man. I don't actually have a physical copy of this game, but uh, Mega Man Eight will likely be starting up here sometime. I can't tell you when. Probably April, maybe. I haven't really decided yet. Yeah, that's going to be a thing that's going to happen at some point. I don't have a whole lot more I need to say about that, but it is definitely something that is going to happen. And, um, yeah. Now, hopefully by the time uh, the summer rolls around, I'm actually going to be paying a little bit of a trip back to an older Let's Play of mine. And I, t I touched on this on Twitter at one point. If you're not following me on my Twitter, uh, please go do uh, twitter.com slash mastersarmran. And that is just that there is one game from kind of the classic era of my channel that I really do kind of want to do another Let's Play over of at some point. And <clears throat> this might surprise some people because I actually would say this is, out of a lot of the Let's Plays, especially from 2010, this is the one that I think holds up probably the best possibly. And that's Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, specifically, I would be pl playing on the uh, Switch version on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Um, I have actually done a live stream of this, and you can still watch the VODs of that on my channel, no problem. Like, I've played the all of Sunshine on a stream, and, like, Sunshine's one of those games that's, like, very divisive. I know a lot of people who don't like it. I love this game myself, personally. This was a huge game for me growing up. Sunshine was a really, really big deal for me growing up. It is one of my, like, favorite Mario games, kind of for a reason. And you can even see by the poster in the back here that I have as well to kind of throw on the display for that there. Yeah, so... This is probably... I mean, it's a fitting game to play during the summertime as well. I, I usually end up playing it more in the fall and winter for some reason. I don't know why, but... That's usually, that, like, that was when I Let's Played the game back in 2010, and also when 3D All-Stars came out, I streamed it, and it was in the fall season of that when I streamed Sunshine, so, yeah, um, the Let's Play, <clears throat> it's gonna be a little bit more lax, first of all, I'm gonna be able to kind of take my time and talk over some things, tell stories, me make memories and such of things that happened throughout that, um, but, yeah, the reason I wanted to update the LP, though, is that even though I think it is good, like, my old Let's Play of it's actually not bad, it is still from 2010, and the quality back when I was using my old Dazzle, and kind of doesn't really hold up the greatest in some ways. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy, I'm feeling like a grandpa bringing this one up here. Remember this, kids? <laughs> yeah. This was my old capture card from way, way, way back in the day. 
I'm kind of surprised I still have this thing, honestly, to tell you the truth. I don't really use my Dazzle for much of anything, but, I mean, I've kind of since obtained a lot of technology to upscale a lot of things to HDMI, or at least, like, signal transfer to HDMI, so it's nice to kind of show some of those things off, though, a little bit. But yeah, beyond just the quality reason, there's a couple other things in Sunshine that I think I'd be able to touch on a little bit better, and I've also played the game a lot in the years that have kind of happened since then. I mean, I've I've 100%ed it three times in just 3D All-Stars alone, so like, it's a game I definitely have a lot of appreciation for, and there are some parts in the original LP that, like, as much as I think it was a good Let's Play, some parts I was like... I think Noki Bay in particular, I remember, I don't even think I showed any of the missions properly the first time, like, I think I randomly, like, just inserted a bunch of Duke Nukem and, like, Serious Sam music for some reason, I don't know why I just did, though, but, yeah, um, I feel like I could do those aspects a lot better, but, and also there's a really weird audio hiccup early on in that LP as well, where I think I was using a dying mic, and I ended up switching to, I ended up switching to, like, an old, like, USB webcam that I pretty much, like, taped it to, like, the arm of my chair, not this original chair, but, like, the chair I was using at the time, I pretty much taped, like, a webcam there, and, like, it got the job done, but looking back, I mean, I have a lot of better audio devices now, and I remember it kind of being very clacky in some ways, so, yeah, the audio of that old LP wasn't the greatest, but it was also 2010, like, the, I, I do kind of miss the looseness that that era kind of had compared to now, but I definitely think technology's improved a lot. After Sunshine wraps up, when hopefully Twilight Princess will be wrapped up by then as well, I'm hoping Twilight Princess is wrapped up by the time I start Sunshine. Moving into the fall months, this is probably something that I'm sure some people might be waiting for for a while, but, um... And this isn't gonna be all at once here when I point this up here, but I think it's time to give a certain purple dragon some love. Yeah, I would like to eventually start looking at the Spyro the Dragon series. Um, in particular, starting with Spyro 1, and, um, Spyro 1's a pretty short game, to be fair. Um, I don't, I haven't decided if I'll look at the Switch version of this game or not. I actually have this on Steam as well, because it was in a Humble Bundle that I bought last year. And if I can have the technology, I'd probably like to look at the Steam version personally, but yeah, Spyro the Dragon will likely be something that I take a look at here in 2023. Um, as for Ripto's Rage and Year of the Dragon, at some point, and my keyword for that is at some point, um, Spyro 1's very simple by comparison, and I'm gonna be honest, even to this day... I have not actually finished Ripto's Rage or Year of the Dragon, believe it or not, so I'm gonna get around to finishing those at some point, but yeah, it's... <clears throat> I don't want to immediately start Let's Playing something, not that I'm not against doing blind Let's Plays, but yeah, i just like to have a little bit more experience with Spyro 2 and 3, but then again, like, who knows, I might have them finished by next week for all I know. And lastly, once Spyro's all done... We're going to take a trip back into one of my favorite franchises, and um, this is going to be a one of the biggest undertakings on the channel, and that scares me when I eventually go to talk about the future of these games, but I would like to eventually, at some point, let's play a game that was very influential to myself, very influential to a, a lot of kids I knew growing up. We're going to be looking at Super Smash Bros. Melee. This isn't my favorite game in the Smash series, but it is still one that I am very, very much nostalgic for. And it's... <sighs> It's a very influential game for a lot of people and for a lot of reasons. And I'd like to make my story known with that game myself. Because 
I feel like there's a bit of a lost history when it comes to that game. And, like, I'd like to t share how that game was for me growing up. And, yeah, I think 2023 will be the year we do that. Lastly, I kind of just, the last thing I kind of want to touch on in this video before I kind of do an outro, I wrote down some of these things on just a quick sheet of paper here. Um, I kind of want to just touch on my streams for a little bit. I'm going to make this very quick because I actually don't know how much battery life I have left. I'm currently, let's, I'm currently streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Sarman, and I'm currently doing three games right now. I'm playing Diddy Kong Racing, I'm playing Okami Den, and I'm playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Specifically Shining Pearl. Um... <sighs> Out of all of those, I have every intention of finishing all of them. I'm not... I have been taking a very, very lax time off from streaming, and I do really apologize for that. My personal life has kind of gotten to be very hectic in the last few months, and trying to juggle so many things at once is not the easiest thing sometimes. I'm not always the most motivated to do these kinds of things, and that's... I hate saying that because, like, you know, I have every, like, you know, Shining Pearl, I finished the main story. I am in post-game territory now, and for what it's worth, there's not really a whole heck of a lot left with that game, but, yeah, um, like, as for what's left of that, I mean, there's a couple of, like, once, like, a couple of optional super bosses and some legendaries that I kind of need to do some off-camera stuff, and I also need to play through all of Pokemon Legends Arceus at some point as well to do something, an event in Shining Pearl. It's... I'll worry about that at another point. Um, Diddy Kong Racing, the last few times I've tried streaming it have been really, really brutal. Like, I'm finding that game a lot harder than I kind of remember the game being, and I know it's only going to get harder, so... We'll see how it is. Um, I don't want to drop something like that prematurely, especially since like I can see the merits of a good game in there, but it can be kind of frustrating at the same time. Uh, Okami Den, that's probably the easiest one for me to record, honestly, in some ways, because I don't find the game particularly hard. I just need to actually sit down and play it, and to be fair, we're actually at a really cool part of the game from what I remember, but we'll continue on with that at some point soon. Um, I'd like to just briefly touch on the future of my streams here, and that is just that I don't actually have too much to say. Uh, the one big game I've had in the back of my mind for a lot of this year is that um, I'd like to return to Final Fantasy at some point, and that's a very weird thing for me to say. There is a game that I have been always interested in playing that I do own because it's actually part of the SNES Classic, and that game is Final Fantasy VI. I, or three as it's called in North America, but I'm all, I'm gonna keep calling it Final Fantasy VI anyway. That game, I would love to do a stream of it at some point this year, and I have every intention and plan of doing it. Um, I streamed Final Fantasy VII a few years ago, loved that game a lot really, like, still a, one of my favorite JRPGs now, and gave me a big appreciation for a series that I always heard great things about and never played, and I can see why Final Fantasy sticks in with a lot of people, and I'd like to play, perhaps, kind of the other big one that I hear, like, it's debatable which one is seen as, like, the big one, but Final Fantasy VI, I hear, is really up there, and it's always been a game I was interested in. I remember seeing, like, images of, like, the Game Boy Advance version in Nintendo Power when I was younger, and even back then, I was interested in it. Um, so yeah, that's... Whenever that does start off, probably sometime in the spring, but that is definitely gonna have to be my weekend stream. Uh, Final Fantasy VII I always played on Saturdays, and usually Shining Pearl I play on Saturdays now. So, 
it's long. It's going to be my weekend stream at that point, but it is a game that I am very much excited to play. This last one is kind of a weird one. I don't know when I would necessarily get around to doing this, but one game that... Uh, actually, a franchise that I have played at least one game in, but I actually have most of the games in the series on Steam, and I am somewhat interested in playing these games at some point, and I think maybe maybe it could make for an interesting stream series, possibly, is Resident Evil. I have played Resident Evil 4 before. That game is fantastic. Um, I'm curious to play Remake whenever that comes out, but I might get, I might get it if there's nothing else kind of on the go next month. I mean, I think it comes out in like a few weeks, maybe even a few days, I'm not really sure, but... I'll see how Resident Evil 4 Remake goes along there anyway, but yeah, I'm actually like interested in playing the Resident Evil games at some point, and I have most of the ones that are on Steam. I think the only one that I don't have is uh, Resident Evil Village, which is the 8th game. Um, I think that's the only Resident Evil I don't actually own on there. I have, like one, like, Resident Evil Remake, I guess technically I don't own Resident Evil 1 either, like, OG RE1, but I'm not really itching to play that right now. <laughs> um, I guess I don't own RE2 or 3 either, but again, like, I have the remakes of all those games, and then RE4, 5, 6, and 7 I have on Steam as well, so, um, I'm just throwing the possibility out there. That's something I might take a look at doing, not all at once, but... Resident Evil 1, I might possibly consider playing at some point, and I don't think I'll make that exclusively like a Halloween thing either, I might, I haven't really decided yet, but it is something that I'm kind of throwing around in the back of my mind that I think it would be fun to take a look at the Resident Evil series. And as for the future of Twitch, I actually don't really have an answer at that point, believe it or not. I really don't have too much else to say. Um... Yeah, it's wild of me to think that 15 years have kind of come and gone since the early days of the channel to now and everything that's kind of happened since and, you know, I, th I thought I was going to be done after 10 years and I wanted to be done, but then, you know, I kind of found and refound my love of gaming again after Super Smash Bros. Ultimate came out and, you know some other things that kind of came up that <clears throat> there was a lot of Let's Plays that I wanted to do at some point, and even the future, there's still other games that I would like to po probably take a look at at some point, you know? Uh, I'm not, like, to name any names here, but, like, Crash Bandicoot's always a possibility. Um, the rest of the Ratchet and & Clank and Jack and & Daxter games. Um, Sly Cooper's a big one that's... That, that might even be actually something I might consider streaming at some point as well, because I do have the Sly games, and I've never played those before. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of great games that I could definitely take a look at. Um, I'd love to do some more stuff with the Mario Party series at some point. Um, I've had ideas in the back of my mind with that for a while, but I haven't really decided yet. Um... There's even some stream ideas I've had with Smash Ultimate in the back of my mind that I'm kind of thinking about, but yeah, ultimately, and heck, there's even a new Spongebob game that keeps coming out, that's coming out that I keep forgetting about as well. That might even be out now, I think. I don't know for sure. Maybe I might take a look at that on stream. I don't think it's going to be an immediate Let's Play, but I think a stream might be interesting, so, you know, people might want to watch that, so... Yeah, who knows what the future has to say, but sky's the limit at this point is what I can definitely think about. There's a lot of great games that I still have that I can definitely take a look at at some point. And yeah, with all of that being said, once again, regardless when you started watching 15 years, man, like, <sighs> thank you so much. Like, whether you tuned in in the classic era or even just, like, the last year or even the last week, like, thank you so much for 
tuning in and watching a lot of my videos and it's been a really wild journey to imagine that, you know, back then, I, <laughs> I don't know, man, it's, it's just wild to imagine 15 years, man, like, <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thanks, everyone, for watching this video here. I hope you all really liked this one. And I will look forward to seeing you guys, well, I guess back here tomorrow for a new Twilight Princess. But, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you guys kind of just in the future, you know? We got a lot of things kind of coming up, and I'll see you guys for that then. Once again, thank you. I love you guys for sticking with me for so long, and yeah, thank you. Peace out.